Perhaps. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe refresh the, the thingy. Oh, it said live. I think we might be live. Hello, everyone. Hello. Haha, we are live. Hello. I should probably mute that and pause it so that it doesn't kill us. <laughs> kill our stream bitrate. Lexi's here, too. Yes, Lexi, say hello. Hello. Say, say hello. Okay. Hello. She hates being on camera for absolutely no reason. <laughs> she hates it. I'm actually going to turn our mic volume up a little bit. Are we a little quiet? Uh, I think we're pretty good, but I just don't want to be too quiet. So I'm going to adjust the this to be like that much. Hello, everyone. Hello and welcome. Yes, hello. I can't read your names from this far away. They're on the <laughs> TV, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... They're a little bit far away. Maybe we can put the chat over here. But then we'll look like we're looking all the way there. That's over there is where chat is. So if so, you see us looking at chat, it's because it's over there. <laughs> Why are you being such a little pooper? She's not. She kind of is. She's usually way more adorable. Trust me. She's pretty adorable always. So yeah, thank you guys for coming to this. We're excited. And we hope you're excited. Yeah. Welcome. We're gonna let so so this is not the show. The no. talk show is not just us talking to you. Uh, we're this is like a pre-show sort of thing. We're just gonna let the stream settle in. Uh, make sure that we're not dropping too many frames. You got two chats going over there. Okay. Well, I can't really do much about that. We got. We're gonna make sure that the stream is working and uh, give people a second to get here. And everything, but then, uh, then at some point we'll tell you that we're starting the show, and mm -hmm. then it will be more formal. Oh, do we have the music cue? Oh no. Oh, let me get it. Oh, on your phone? No, no, no. Oh, you're gonna do it on. Yeah. Okay, so as we said in our video that I hope you watched, you all probably did since you knew to come. Um, we are really excited about our new idea for this talk show called List Play, where we basically do whatever lists come to our minds. It's all over the internet nowadays, BuzzFeed. We all love it, or at least I do. I read like 12 BuzzFeeds a day, and <laughs> I thought it would just be fun if we, we did one and we got to share some of our opinions with you guys, and you guys let us know what you think about whatever topics we come up with. Um, so how much do you want to talk about it right now talking to you uh i'm doing the thing i oh. just said i was gonna do uh i have no idea how loud that's gonna be and it might have just started but you know there you go oh so people who haven't met me before um i'm mandy bob's wife yes so she's my that's wife why, that's why i'm here <laughs> <laughs> and this is our puppy who's very shy Yep. <laughs> She's the shyest dog. For no for no good reason really. Uh okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So what what did you ask me? I, how much we wanted to tell them about our idea about it being live oh. versus well, YouTube versus I mean, we don't know. I guess we don't really have that much set in stone is the is the big problem. It's it's not like this huge secret. Obviously we're doing this, so we're announcing it today. It's the thing. We announced it in the video, I guess, <laughs> yesterday. But it's Which was fun to make. We're though. just trying to figure out the best way to do it because we wanna we wanted at first to record it on YouTube maybe, but then we thought we love talking to you guys live and interacting with the chat and it would be cool to have people watching and giving us feedback as we're doing it. Cause then we can still put it on YouTube later. But we don't know how it's gonna be yet. We're gonna see how this goes and see, you know see what we think but it would just be kind of cool to be a live show i don't know like so we really like gmm of course uh is an inspiration for us but um we think it would be a kind of cool divergence to yeah to, do well, it live and and it's it's something on the internet that i think i haven't seen much of maybe there are live shows on the internet mm -hmm. but it's something that they do on tv that's cool to be in the audience of like the David Letterman show or the Colbert Report 
both of those are off the air now, I guess. But you know, to be <laughs> to be in the audience of one of those. in here. Live, <laughs> Letterman's last day was th- four I know, four days ago. I know. Ago. I was just kidding. And Colbert's last day was like six months ago or whatever. But to be in the audience of one of those shows live is cool because you get to see the people and you get to see it happen live. So I think. Well, and we'll get feedback. Hopefully, it'll be fun for you yeah, guys. Yeah, well, and so everyone be really nice to us today because it's sort of just a dry <laughs> run through. We haven't like practiced. And we, yeah. Um, we we talked through it a little bit. And okay, so Bob's pretty used to the camera um, because he's been doing it for a while. But if any of you just take a camera and try and talk to it, that's how I feel. <laughs> so. <laughs> So don't don't expect perfection or a polished show today, um, but we're just excited to test one out and see how it goes. Eric says the height difference is palpable. Yes, we are also going to work on that. We're gonna have a <laughs> we're working on the idea for the set. This is not gonna be a format where it's just us on a webcam. We're gonna have better a set Stuff. with a thing behind us, and we're gonna have a desk at some point, and we're gonna have height adjustable chairs hopefully, so that I can be lower. And Manny can be taller, because I am, like, way, way taller than her. Uh, but, yeah, we're working on the set, too. All of this is temporary. So, so we're <laughs> moving at the beginning of Ju- June. Oh, yeah. So that's the big thing. So we're going to have, like, a room to do this in. Right now, I don't know, Bob. This is our bedroom. This is our bedroom. Office space, closet, We, we live in a one-bedroom apartment. So There's, like, stuff under our bed, and there's... <laughs> It's like everything is slamming Tiny. against itself in this room. So, yeah, I mean, th- there might be trouble with putting out episodes when we move because we have to. M- we're moving from here. It's like five minutes up the road, but it's like a house. So we have to like figure out how to put all of our furniture into a huge house with well, more than one room. It's not huge. Don't oversell it. But, it's huge compared to this. But we have a whole room for the desk, yeah. office area, YouTube stuff. So. Yep. Oh, let me see if Mubot's saying anything funny. Mubot might be saying some nonsensical things. Mubot loves to do that. Nope, we're still staying in North Carolina. Like you said, we're just moving down the road into a bigger place. Yeah. So much bigger. It's not, it's just, I mean, it's not that big of a house. It's a two bedroom house. It's relatively average size, I would say, for a two bedroom. Yeah. But we've been living in a one bedroom apartment for two years, and holy crap, it's tiny. (laughs) <laughs> Especially with the dog. The dog takes up so much space. She's so tiny. But she's got stuff everywhere. She kicks me off the couch. Because she's so... Charity, my scream, my scream fans, rules. Yeah, we don't need Town of Salem. Uh, nope. Okay, that one is not being repeated right now, so that's fine. Welcome. Okay. Okay, Moobot. I thought Moobot might be telling you guys how to join our Town of Salem game or something. That's not happening, so... <laughs> okay, so so again, I don't know if we've said this yet, but List Play is the name of our show. Did we say that? Get it? Yeah. Get it? We're clever, right? No. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! Get it? Because it's like Let's Play. List Play. Yeah. Because we're playing with lists. Haha. <laughs> the dog is cute. person whose name is really bright and hard to read. Oh my gosh. Blurry Andy. name. Something. Oh my god, I can't read that color. <laughs> yeah. So, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. We're getting a lot of people for this. I was kind of thinking it would just be like us and 25 people or something. And well, we're, be, we're excited you guys are here. There's, there's a lot of, there's over 200 oh, now. yeah. Okay. That's a lot of people. So. Don't judge us. This might be really rough. <laughs> Just saying. It's just just a trial run <laughs> about the format, and we'll see how it goes and what you guys think. Rockstar Tragedy, don't mock me in chat. <laughs> I could read chat while we're doing this. Don't mock me. He said, mind blown, Bomb. List play, or let's play with lists. Wow. Well, all Bob's things are based off the let's play thing. It's cute. They're, it's all thematic. The... The let's all play and let's all give and it's funny. It's consistent. <laughs> Guess who came up with it? You came up with like all of those names. I know. You? <laughs> I of... did. Now I get why it's consistent. 
Manny comes up with all my best ideas. That's not true. It's pretty true. You came up with this. You came up with Let's All Play. And you came up with this show idea generally. Sort of. Yeah. It was the, sort of both of us together, but the list was she had the idea. initial idea. We've just been trying to figure out how to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. So, should I cue up the music? This is going to be really awkward when we play the, the title music because we don't have a title screen yet. Because yeah. I, I just told Adam, the uh, who is in chat, Who's like, designing our two days stuff. ago if he if, to, to make something. I asked him if he would do it. <laughs> and then we're doing it today. So we're not pre-planning. It's, so. it's, he's not being slow. We're being no, unreasonably fast. No, it's not fast. his fault. <laughs> I know Adam is going to be like, no, oh, I'm trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's... It's our fault. I asked him, like, the other day about this, and he was like, yeah, as soon as I can, I'll get to it. Why do you need it tomorrow? He says, <laughs> yeah, jeez. Yeah, I know. I said I said it. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm sorry. So the music was written by Eric. Uh, Who is Maestro Oak in chat. Yeah. Um, and it's really cute, especially because Bob plays tuba, and I play clarinet, and there are many versions of clarinet and tuba in it, so... Enjoy the music. All right, yeah. Let me see how this works. Give me your music. So this is going to cue the official start of the show, too, right? Oh, then we're I should go, put the dog. We're going to go from the music go into the intro and everything. Yeah, go away, Lexi. <laughs> she doesn't know you're joking. Adults are talking. <laughs> All right, this might be really loud. I'm going to adjust on the fly. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Bob and Mandy here, and welcome to List Play. Today's episode is Good versus Evil from approximately 1994 to almost 2003. Uh, let's just say the 90s. Whatever. It's <laughs> it's good. It's stuff. It's stuff from our childhood. We were thinking about nostalgic things, and it's it, we grew up mostly in the '90s, but some of it's from like the early 2000s. But whatever. '90s. Good versus evil. The '90s, and what that means, since this is the first time we've done it, I should explain a little bit. Good versus evil means that we're going to go through our top five favorite things from the '90s and our top five things that should just stay in the '90s forever and never come back. Um, so obviously, good and evil. Pretty clear cut. Yay! So up first, we're going to do the good, starting with number five. Take this, it away. This one, I guess this one's kind of mine. Bob so, put this one on the list, so I think he gets to It's a nerdy it. number five, but it brings me back. <laughs> Hopefully it brings you back. Number five on the good list is T9 Predictive Text. Uh, some of you might be too young to not have to have had phones where your only mode of typing was on the number pad but if you had a phone where you had to type on the number pad you probably used t9 because it was that thing where you would push all of the numbers where the letters were and then you could select the word and it was it was like magic because you didn't have to push nine four times <laughs> or whatever you didn't have to push five three times to get an m you could get it was it was like magic yeah texting on old phones is like the biggest pain in the ass like now we have this like whole keyboard and it can even like guess what letter you're like close to but oh my god it saves for, your life. for anyone that was alive when you had the nokia log phone who that didn't was, have a nokia log phone i don't know i don't know i had one i don't know when those stopped being a thing i had one for a long time but i don't know <laughs> ever it seems like all the way down to like fifth grade now kids have like iphones yeah. Like, everyone just has an iPhone as the first phone you get. No one ever has to suffer with the ridiculous, horrible phones. You that, never know. Uh, but whatever. then they can't appreciate, too, right? So yeah. That's a thing. We appreciate. Okay, so that's number five. <laughs> number five. Number four is also geeky. We make the list, sorry, is AIM, right? So... Uh, I didn't have AIM when I was little, so... It was basically I AIM. Had, okay, yeah. I, I had Macs always, so we had, like, iChat, which was, like, the same, but... But special, because <laughs> it had an I in front of it. No, we had... It, yeah, it's right? Special. Apple thing, but uh -huh. um, what made it really cool is, like, 
like worked on Macs, but it could also log into AIM. I don't even know, but like it had fancy. It worked the bubbly yeah, Mac yeah. stuff. It worked with different. But whatever. Different services. I spent yeah, all yeah, my yeah. childhood like talking to my friends on AIM, and like when it became a thing on Facebook that you could like AIM things, that was like life changing. Yeah. Or at least it was for us. I don't. Well, and I I remember before Facebook. I remember when I figured out there was an online AIM client. Where you could go onto a website because you, you used to have to install the like software to do the AIM thing, but there I found a way you could go onto this website and log into your AIM username and use it at school or like I used to go at the rec center after school and they had like the same sort of thing where you you know you can't go to like game pages and stuff you're supposed to do educational, but at the rec center I figured out a way to get on AIM and I I talked that's like the only way I talked to my friends. For a brief period, somewhere between middle school and high school. Yeah, like my first boyfriends, I like exclusively talked to them you on You only AIM. knew them as an AIM no, username. No, no, they no, no. I, They were real people, but we didn't like go on dates. Like, no, we didn't like hang out. We, we AIM'd like constantly. You turned on your broadcast TV to the same station and then you would watch... No, we just talk okay. and play question games. Oh, play question games. We, we were like 12, I don't know. Number three! <laughs> <laughs> this one is pretty general. The last two were specific, but this one, this one is like showing our age a little bit, maybe. Yeah. But number three on the good list is cartoons, all of them, specifically sort of Saturday morning cartoon yeah, type cartoons. Yeah, I mean cartoons, they're not but... the same as they used to be. Like, come on, like SpongeBob, Rugrats, Doug, Doug Jinx, Recess, Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold. Yeah, like, there were so many they were cartoons. So good. And Are like they were. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> there were even some good ones that were in the 2000s, but I, I like, don't even know what people watch yeah, anymore. Yeah, I mean, it, it went from, like, that sort of stuff into, like, the Billy and Mandy era, and I don't even know. Like, um, Fairly Odd Parents was good. That was yeah, sort of the newer... Yeah, I like newer... that one until they had the baby, but now and then it like, got weird. But now there's, like, know. Adventure Time, which, <laughs> which I get. There are lots of funny jokes, and I've not watched all of it or anything. I'm no expert, but I think Adventure Time is just so much weirder. And less, there's no, like, obvious moral lessons, and it's not, yeah. I don't know. There was just something so satisfying about those cartoons. No? Oh, yeah. Rugrats. I will say to Reptar. I was like, that's Reptar! <laughs> it's Reptar. Which is from Rugrats. I but everybody that. knows that. So that was a big part of our childhood yeah. in the 90s. Cartoons were better when we were kids. Okay, moving on okay. to number two. Okay, so this one is very close to my heart. Um, number two on the good list is Tamagotchis, which were the best. I know they still have them, I guess, but no one plays with them anymore because you can just have your cell phone. Because <laughs> you just have Tamagotchi on your iPhone. That's what? Like, I'm doing that while you're talking, actually. This is... I'm just kidding. It's not Tamagotchi, but... But, but, so seriously, like, this little thing that you had to, like, constantly take care of, like, it was so cool and it, like, grew up and if you left it for too long, it, like, pooped and... I don't know. It was really fun. It was like a it was like a pet with no consequences. Yeah. Everyone wanted a dog, and only some parents were willing to take care of the dog that the kid was not going to take care of. But everyone could have a Tamagotchi, because if it died, you just start over with a new egg, and it's whatever. Whoops. I had a green one with yellow stripes. And a purple one. I thought that they were supposed to be purple. Oh, I thought they were different colors. I had a, I had the oh. one that I had the most that I remember was a green one with yellow zigzaggy stripes, hmm. which I think they all had zigzaggy stripes. But. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. That was that. Tamagotchis. And they made such funny sounds, too. I can't recall them right now, but well, like, they, were all like, they were very distinctive. Like, you knew your thing yeah. was fucking mad at you. They or... were all really distinctive and really, like, crunchy, beepity sounds. And it was just, like, a thing that you could get out of, like, I don't know, they were pretty cheap. Some of them like, gas stations yeah, and stuff and, after, eventually. And it was super fun and technology-based. Fun fact, I got my Tamagotchi at the same place that I got my fancy Y-Wing yo-yo. And I got extra strings for my yo-yo so that when one got tangled, I could throw it away. And you remember when yo-yos were cool? That was not on the list, though. It wasn't cool enough to make the list. No. And the number one thing on the list, hard to controvert this one. I think we nailed it. The number one good thing from the 90s slash 2000s, the Nintendo 64 gaming system. And everything that comes with it. Yeah. I, I mean, so we couldn't pick a single game. We thought about it. But, like, I mean, Mario 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart. I mean... Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie. All of them. They were so awesome. They were, like, 
a complete like light years ahead of yeah, the, it was, the gaming technology. It was a revelation. In my house, we went from... I actually grew up with my dad playing an NES... Uh, the original Nintendo Entertainment System, and I would like sit on his lap and watch him and stuff. Yeah, it was a really funny story. His um, grandparent, well, no, his aunt was just talking about how how his dad used to play it to soothe Bob or something, <laughs> and his dad was like, "No, I just played the video game because I liked it. Yeah. Why? I Bob I'm, sat through it. So I just like video games. <laughs> he just had to be there because I had to take care of him or whatever. Yeah, so I get that from my dad. Um, but yeah, that was so we had an NES until we had an N64. We completely skipped the SNES. So when we got the N64, which we got it for Christmas in like, I don't know, 96 or it might have been the year after it came out, but we got it for Christmas and we got it with Mario 64. It was like head explodingly cool. Yeah. I was like that kid when he gets the N64 in that video meme that's all over the internet. <laughs> and he totally I, freaks I out. The, the 3D-ness, like, okay, so the camera angles, like, the way it switches is really crappy, but but the fact that it was three-dimensional is, like, amazing. Yeah. So the number one thing, pretty pretty clear I don't know why I'm heads. doing two number ones. Two they number one. They combine to become number, number one. one. <laughs> the N64, though. Seriously, Woo! if you could come up with something that is higher on this list than the N64, I would be absolutely shocked because... We challenge you. That was just, like, the best thing ever. Okay, so, so now <laughs> we get to move from the positivity to the evil. Yeah, uh, let's let's make fun of stuff on the internet. <laughs> the 90s is, has it wide open, so... There was so, lots of stuff from the... There's lots of stuff that didn't even make this... this. The, yeah, there was a whole honorable mention list that we might talk about at some point, but there's plenty of stuff that could go on this list yeah. that didn't quite make it. So much stuff. Yeah. So you want to kick off number five? Sure. This one is for me. I think we agree on this one yeah. pretty pretty heartily. I, I felt like the only one in the world who thought this when I was a kid. But number five on the evil list from the 90s, Baby Bottle Pops. I remember that commercial like it was freaking laser pops, etched into my brain. Baby Bottle Pops. Take the pop, lick it and stick it and flip it, whatever. And, and lick it again. It, oh my god. <laughs> every, every, the commercials made it out like that was the only candy that was cool to eat. I hate those things. It takes like four days to eat a baby bottle pop. And it's just sugar in a bottle. It's just a big pixie stick with a sucker on it. But I hated those things. So Bob's complaint... Well, I mean, I have like... I think if you look through my childhood bedroom right now, which my parents are watching, <laughs> don't so do that. don't it's do messy. it. It's There's probably in my nightstand like four or five half eaten of these because how do you ever finish one? It takes like 12 years. And after after you have one for too long, it gets gross. Because all you yeah. cover the sucker part up with is a little plastic cap, which that falls off. And then you get crap on it. It lasts too long. Candy it, should be eaten in like one city. Yeah, it's, it's a silly concept. Or, there were much better candies from the 90s, which didn't make the list. We're sorry, but... You could have just gone to the store and got yourself Pixie Sticks and Tootsie Pops. Or those which would be far superior. colors. Those were really good. Yeah. I like just eating the sticks. Those those baby bottle pops were just way too hyped from the 90s. Those commercials, I will never forget, and I will always hate them. <laughs> okay. So moving on to number four, and this one is from me, a personal vendetta I have from the 90s. <laughs> Boom boxes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Music, awesome. 90s music, awesome. Thing that plays it, not so awesome. Okay, so I always wanted it outside with me because we used to play outside. That's what kids did in the 90s. That's what I did. But... I did in the 90s. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I would always want my music with me. And you could, like, if I was, like, jumping rope or something, you couldn't have your little Walkman with you because it would skip every time you jumped. Okay, so you brought your boombox out. And so you had to go find an extension cord uh, and set up the whole thing so that it was plugged in inside the house, and then you brought it all out, and then it never played very good. Like it still skipped every still time you jumped, when even though yeah, like you could be like five feet away from it, and it's like on higher ground. I don't even know how it worked, but they were so <laughs> crappy. Kids these days with their iPods, the weirdest thing my iPods have ever done, like the newest generation, is sometimes they won't play a song. Oh no. Yeah. But like, we used to like, the sound quality was like, you Funny. get like half the song <laughs> on boomboxes. Yeah. I will, I will say with the extension cord thing, 
I think that's preferable to the setup that I had because I had one that had a, a power plug too, and I would occasionally bring it outside when I was doing something nerdy outside. Um, and I had mine had a battery compartment, by which I mean over half of the boombox's backside, you could stuff it full of like 24D batteries and bring it outside, and it would play music 24? for like half. I mean, I swear to God, it was like fifty dollars <laughs> worth of batteries. Because it was, I mean, if you if you need something that runs on batteries, like two AA batteries, fine. 4D batteries, okay, it better be, you know, they better last forever. These boomboxes were like 8 or 10, <laughs> 10D batteries. That's like more money than kids have. And my, I did, I used the batteries once, I think, and they died. And I was like, Dad, I need 10 more. And he's like, no, no, <laughs> no you're just not going to have music outside. So I think you had a better idea with the extension cord, but I'm with you. Okay, boomboxes well, were frustrating. Okay, so moving on to number three. Ooh, I am out of the shot. Number three. <laughs> um, so this one's pretty broad, but we'll mention some specifics. We could narrow it down, but some of the hairstyles in the 90s were pretty crazy. Were awesome. So, personally, from my history, I was very into the crimped hair, which if some of you didn't survive this tragedy, um, it's sort of like curling but um but way worse just sort of like making <laughs> waves in your hair but you just like burned them into your hair with like a straightener that had wavy plates i don't know why we thought it looked awesome but i i, I wish did. i had got this picture up because i actually have a picture of me with a 90s hairdo um i with was crimped hair with well, us not that saying. hairdo there are, <laughs> There are other 90s hairdos. Because I, I was just thinking, I'd love to see a picture of you as a kid with your friends on. Oh, I'm on. sure there are. And there's a picture of me with the <laughs> yellow top, whatever, I don't even, frosted tips? Is that what that's called? Yes. With the 90s cool guy tips, cool guy tips hair. <laughs> I, I was on the football team and everyone on the entire football team had that. And I was like, yeah, I just got this curly hair, it looks stupid. And so I convinced my parents to let me get a bottle of that sun in stuff, the yellow, and the entire top of my head, it wasn't like frosted, it was just the entire top was yellow. And not like blonde, like accidentally yellow. Like I had fallen into a crayon or something, like crayon, fallen into a crayon, I don't so know. That that's pretty bad. So yeah, all those nineties, all that. those nineties haircut and like the rat tail. That was a nineties thing. Yeah, it, the mullet well, it was, was kind of an eighties thing too. Yeah, though. the mullet was big in the eighties and nineties. But all those nineties y hairstyles. Thank God. Other those are than gone. Jennifer Aniston, she is totally immune from everything in the nineties because she had beautiful hair. Yeah, that friends lady. I I had her hairstyle too. When I wasn't crimping, or you know what else I did? The the hair wraps. I know they still do them. Hair but, wraps? Yeah, where you take, like, string, and you, like, wrap a little tiny string around it. A hair wrap. Oh. They do it at, like, Kings Island and stuff, which is a theme park in Cincinnati. I am unfamiliar with those. So, but... it was a big thing. I have a little thing that does it. Like, you I still did it to it? myself. Uh, is that my parents' okay. house? Okay. I thought I it was, like, stashed away. I was like, you never do that. Do you do that while I'm asleep? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so so there were many there were questionable good. hair choices there was one good one though as yeah jennifer well, aniston she she's amazing still so yeah. okay Move so number the... two we're on number two right yes Don't do one finger for two. <laughs> number two <laughs> number two on the evil list is uh i don't know why i typed this in like this the problem was dial up internet it says on our list, internet slash phone, which that's obviously the conflict. But the problem was dial-up internet was the worst. Especially if you had a fax machine and a modem and you wanted to use a phone in your house. But the whole concept of only being able to use the internet if no one else was on the phone in the entire house well, made me want to gouge my eyes out. someone got a phone call, you had to get off oh the internet. Gosh, yeah. It was so complicated. Hey, your grandma's calling. Stop texting. <laughs> or texting. Stop AIMing your boyfriend. Like, dang it. Like, we were pretty cool in our household, so, so like, in the later years, we had two. So at least two things could be happening at once. I don't think we ever actually had two phone lines. I really? Think, <laughs> I think we lived, like, we adopted, um, like, DSL internet uh -huh. early, so we got away from the dial-up as quick as possible, but we never had two phone lines. Mm -hmm. It was always, like, an eternal struggle, because I was, I was a computer guy. Even back then, I tried to play computer games, and I got into online stuff chat rooms and forums mm -hmm. and stuff and it was like 
Impossible. The eternal struggle of let me just use my damn nerdy internet. Now our biggest problem is that our internet cuts out sometimes and we're like, oh no. Yeah, if the internet stops working for two minutes, the entire <laughs> house lights on fire and we freak out. What do we do? Might as well have the power out if yeah. we don't have any internet. Like, right? But Kinda. back then the struggle was real. Yeah. Very real. And the number one thing. You can, Wait, we need more build-up than that. This is oh. our last thing on the list. So, what should we talk about before we talk about that? What? Oh. I thought you meant we should we should hold, hold it off. And, no. I mean, we okay. just need like... Or something. Can I say it now? Okay. It's Furby. The, Furby. Wor- the worst, worst thing, thing from the from 90s. The 90s. <laughs> and still today, it's being made again. It was relaunched at some point. It's now back in production. Or was back in production. I saw you guys production. talking about it earlier in chat. So you Freaking <laughs> Furbies. You guys knew where we were going. So I had one, and I thought it was really cool for a while. For like five minutes until you okay. realize what it is. You know, that wasn't the problem. The problem was that mine was a little broken. So... <laughs> Um, he was blind. <laughs> there was something about his sensor that he he couldn't see anything. Like, usually they could, like, sense that you were there. But, like, all he would ever say was, me, no, see you. And you, like, couldn't teach him anything because all he would say was, me, no, see you. <laughs> like, repeatedly. <laughs> I just, I just, oh, that is funny. I, I think I would have appreciated that a little bit. It might have got old. But I just hated how they would never they would never die. Like I remember the like middle school stories from that kid you could never trust for his stories where it was like, Yeah man, I <laughs> took the batteries out and I wrapped it in a towel and I put it in my closet and for like two weeks after there weren't even batteries, he was just like Oh, play with me! And, you know, in the nonsense language. Because they mostly say nonsense, right? They say, like, well, they speak Furby no, or no, something. No, you, you have to teach them. They uh, learn yeah. English as you talk but to yeah, them. But yeah, I just remember, they're, they're so creepy. And yeah. if anyone has ever seen, and if you haven't, you should check out the YouTube video of the one in the microwave that's, like, melting. and it I haven't get, seen that. It gets really, like, demonic because it doesn't, the circuits continue to function, but the outside gets all melty and it's all demonic looking. Mm-hmm. It's just creepy and annoying. Wow. Simultaneously. The worst thing. We couldn't think of anything more creepy. <laughs> especially than a child's toy. I, I, I don't know who thought that was a good idea. I Apparently they sold a lot of them. They were crazed. I mean, they relaunched years. and people bought them again. So, <sighs> whatever. That <laughs> that is it for our list. <laughs> if you think we missed something, if you think you have a better idea, we, oh wait, we gotta talk about honorable mentions just oh, for one okay, second. Okay. So we had so many bad things that we so honorable mentions go to the thong song, which was so much fun. That and was on the good list, though, right? Oh. Were you thinking that was on the bad list? I sort of thought it would go on the bad list. It's like so like bad that song. it's good. I don't know. Maybe a, it can go on its own list. It gets list. its own list. The thong song goes on the thong song list. <laughs> it's I, such a funny song if you guys have heard it. Sorry, it's a little thong, 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 thong. It's a little inappropriate, but uh, it's they, 90s they inappropriate. They don't use so. any bad words or anything. No. It's just girls and thongs. My my honorable mention that I was excited about thinking about it was on the bad list it's evil but jinko jeans j-n-c-o jeans i had a pair i saw people say that in chat those too. those quintessentially <laughs> 90s jeans were like the waist was the same size as both of the pant legs individually mm-hmm. and it was just like a dress basically i had jinkos and jinkos were the bomb everyone wore jinkos for like a couple of years there and then everyone was like oh my god what's wrong with these pants and then now we're back to regular pants, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the 90s. Good yeah. versus evil of the 90s, in our opinion. So, yeah, that, the honorable mentions included, not quite in the top five, but if you think we missed something else, let there us know. There are plenty of things we There's talked probably about, lots so. of stuff that could go on the list. Um, this let us a know. a fun-filled time. Yeah. Scene. Okay. So obviously it's hard to do an outro for a show because well, so we're doing a live. We're thing. still working on what we're gonna make our outro phrase. But we, we worked for a really long time and it's still total crap. The so. show's over. <clears throat> List you later. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I came up with. He doesn't like it. That's why it was in the I think intro it's funny. Video. I think it's funny, and you don't like it. I don't know. All right. So, yeah, so I wasn't really watching chat very much during all of that. I was trying to check in. Um, they, they seem to be enjoying it and understand and talk about stuff that, that we were talking about. It's really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, in, in the... And we went a little over 21 minutes, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good time. We were shooting for about 20 minutes. So, yeah, in the in the chat, uh, if you have any comments about things you thought didn't work or if you like it, you think we're really boring, whatever, we're looking for feedback here. Yeah. Also, if you have other ideas for good and bad things, we're willing to ch chat with you we're guys about the 90s. We're not ending the stream yet. We're, we're going to hang out. the show that we had prepared the list. That was our very first pilot episode, and we're just trying to... I'm shaking the camera like crazy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to not do that. We'll have no. a new setup. Not yeah. next time. but It's going to be a way more time. way more professional setup pretty soon when we get the new house and the room and everything. Thanks, Matten138. He said it was nostalgic and great. Trying 214. Thank you. Uh, it's a good start. It was good. Yeah, Natic, if you missed it, uh, I am going to upload this onto my YouTube channel too. So it's not... This is not the only way to see it. You could go ahead and rewatch it if you if you're really interested in seeing the show. So don't worry about that. If you showed up halfway through or whatever, it'll get uploaded to YouTube like tonight. So you can watch it later. It's not a problem. Uh, uh, Somniac, hopefully you just caught my explanation. This will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, <laughs> like the idea. Uh, play play Infamous. Yeah, we're not playing video games oh, right now. Oh, so Sparky eight. Nine eight or eight three eight nine dyslexic moment. So the idea is that we're gonna do a different type of list each time. So uh, we won't do a different decade. We'll do like we were talking about, not to let the count out of the bag for next time. And our favorite st and our favorite. Well, we're not sure how formatting we're gonna do it, but our favorite or best and worst stars from Mario or mm -hmm. SNES games or uh, apps on our phone, like anything any type of list so this was just one list we wanted to start with because we felt like it was pretty easy for us to make yeah and we're gonna it's i know it's affiliated with with my channel the ice cream channel which is gaming but we're gonna go beyond that and we've been talking about lots of ideas that so we might be doing tv and movie stuff mm -hmm. we might be doing pop culture stuff we might be doing uh we might do some music stuff because we have a pretty good like classical music knowledge between but fun, us not like so yeah like, not like interesting boring. composer deaths or you know something yeah, something that's interesting that but that you know not a lot of people some really know. funny yeah. ones don't so it's not just gonna be like back. just decades or just video games it's gonna be lots of stuff and we'll also be looking in the comments to see what you guys want yeah because it obviously the point is to be entertaining to have a good time so if you guys overwhelmingly request something that might make its way onto the show as well oh thanks juliet ccc I did get my hair cut a while back. I don't think I've been on a stream since I got yeah, my haircut. Yeah, I think it's been since the last stream you got a haircut. You got, uh, someone said, definitely do music stuff. Sunset Nation 8 says, oh yes, please music stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I think there's lots of funny stuff. Because classical music could be very dry, but well, I think there's lots of interesting. it doesn't have to be just classical music either. Well, yeah. So yeah. we will already had some ideas for like... Songs that make us happy, yeah. like this mood of song, blah, blah, blah. So, I think there's lots of stuff we could do with like our music knowledge that would be interesting. infinite possibilities. I mean, check yeah. out BuzzFeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or we'll just look at BuzzFeed and yeah. just well, straight up copy we'll one get of their lists. we'll a list from you guys is another idea we had. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, how do you guys feel? Did you guys like being here while we were doing it? Or would you like us to like cut it and like make it more polished as a video like GMM does or do you like being here and we could try and make it more interactive a little and we would have this sort of post show we were talking about talking with you guys after mm -hmm. if it was a live show uh would you guys how do you feel about that uh Wilkins 11 says maybe more than one list an episode Maybe. Maybe if we were doing it live. Yeah. We could make the list longer if it wasn't long enough, if that was the problem. I'm seeing lots of people saying, enjoyed being here, liked watching it. Okay. Okay. Because so, this was, we actually had... That's a good idea, Xander LX. That's... We could just... 
polish so, it when it's uploaded. Yeah, so we could shoot it now and Well, that is cut one thing I've done. I'm capturing this on my own computer, so okay. we have a full HD capture on my computer and I will probably edit it when we when we do the official series, I'll edit it so there's like the title and there's none of the pre-show or post-show stuff mm -hmm. in the YouTube video. That way it's but but it's it gives us an succinct. excuse to hang out with you guys after and it keeps us on like a schedule to do it, mm -hmm. which is all good things. <laughs> Mm. Xander Lex also says maybe pop lists. He's full of like pop good quiz. Ideas. Yeah, that would be really cool. So we have like a hat full of lists or something, and we pick one on on show, and then we have to come up with a list on the fly or something. That would be kind of cool. Uh, can you play the intro music again a little louder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just pretend this is our outro anyway. So. The intro music is also not completely done. Eric said um, he wanted to Eric do is, some more stuff. Yeah, our our composer is uh, <laughs> my brother. He's go he's going to be doing a little bit more work to it. He said so. It, there might be a different version. There you go. It's pretty short. We're gonna have a longer version of that too for the outro. Oh, was it over already? Yeah, it's I only it's only person. eleven seconds long, so <laughs> it goes by pretty quick. Uh, but that's the intro music composed by Mandy's brother for us. Custom music. It's pretty cool. So you guys are coming up with all sorts of awesome ideas for um, lists. I see, um, and thank you for your feedback. Uh, if you want us to, um, we're probably not gonna be able to read all of them and chat right now mm. so if you want to tweet ideas at us uh at my skirm or at flipper one 2012 yeah yeah one if you, spelled out if you have something um, that you really like or if you have a suggestion you really want us to hear twitter would be much easier because we might be missing stuff that's a yeah. good point um so there are also i see all sorts of good ideas flying by and we love it when you guys do our work for us yeah yeah that's i think that's the best thing about this and we could just sit here and just re-chat and like oh it's a talk show we, we did that uh sunset nation eight what about youtube comments uh, oh maybe commenting yeah i mean um this is going to be uploaded to youtube oh, too yeah, so that, if you comment there too. we will read that as well it'll be on the my Scurb youtube channel well, and for so, now so the one that i'm the list play like format so we only did today good versus evil so where we did a good list and a bad list um but one i'm really excited about are his versus hers or his and hers so um we'll each make individual lists without consulting each other and you guys can pick which one you like better and we can even do no <laughs> yeah we can even do live voting when we're yeah, doing that, the live thing wilkins just said if if we were to use a different bot there are other bots with very extensive polling features hmm. so we could actively poll i didn't even know there were other bots well yeah there's i just choose Moobot because it's easiest and it's totally free for whatever but yeah there are other bots and so, I mean, we could do formats where, like, we come in with a bunch of things and we have you guys rank them and we have you do the one through one through five of the list or whatever. So mm -hmm. lots of different formats that we have in mind that we might do, not just this good and evil one. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're else? really excited. I think that went pretty well. It was fun. Time. I hope everyone yeah, I enjoyed had, it. I, I was, had like, fun. cracking up for that one part. I couldn't stop laughing about Bob <laughs> and the frosted tips. Eric started snapping, like, West Side Story <laughs> for some, re <laughs> some reason. <laughs> I can only snap with this finger very weakly. Haha. Uh -huh. Um... Oh, it's because someone offered to do sound for our channel. Someone said, if you need any really cool sound effects or video or, or whatever, and Eric was like... <laughs> There's about to be a rumble in here. Yeah, so... So, yeah, if you have... Sorry, I keep I keep putting my foot on Lexi's face. She's, She's right sitting here. right under us. <laughs> um, if you have any other comments and stuff, uh, go for it. If you have list ideas, uh, tweet at you us. can comment on this video on YouTube or tweet at us. And we will look through those and start accumulating stuff. But so it seems like everybody liked it. That's exciting. Unless, I was really unless all excited. the critics are just holding back. <laughs> yeah. Um, if really, if you if you have a criticism, this the entire point of this is to hear what what we could do well, differently so we to make it better. So we were probably a little right? awkward, right? Because we're so, not used to it, especially yeah. me. I think the big um, thing. I think we yeah. were because we've streamed together quite a bit now. Yeah, I think but we had good. 
I don't like notice my face does <laughs> stuff. So like I real if you go back and watch that video of us announcing this on Bob's channel, um, there are moments when you can tell I'm thinking about what we're doing, and there are moments when you can tell I'm not engaged at all. So are you done talking yet? Yeah, I know his face is not as as. It's really hard to keep your face because I when you play video games, you make that video game face, and it's so. It's even still in videos. I'll, when I stop talking, if someone else is talking, I immediately am like, oh, like a video game face. So I, I think I, everyone who's tried that can appreciate how hard it is. But yeah, I'm just like. I think the big thing for me was we just need to get used to doing like an intro and an outro because yeah. we're good at streaming and talking. Yeah. But the intro was like, okay, we're starting now. What should we do next? Yeah. <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> It's right there! Okay, that sounds good! Yeah. If yeah. you get that reference, I love you guys. <laughs> but it's a pretty obscure <laughs> reference, so... Man, so this... What time does this stream start? We start. I guess we started right at 7, right? Yeah, so, so it's only 7 It's going to be a pretty short stream, because we're pretty much done. We're just hanging out. We're not going to do any gaming or anything tonight. We're just hanging out. Um, so we'll so, hang out and talk but, to you guys. But another but... exciting thing about the streaming... So we're going to continue to do this, I guess, on... Hopefully this weekly, time. Right? Sunday night, so 7 p.m. the same time every every night, um, and we might let it settle a little bit more time, so we might start a little later just to let people well, come in. and so we can move into our house, too. We might have to move the schedule around a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we'll but, see about... I meant, I meant just like oh, okay. 15 minutes so that people were all uh, here because we talked a little more than I think we're going to talk about it um, in the future. Uh but Bob is planning on streaming regularly um, video games. Yeah. I'm, so this will be in addition to that. This is going to be part of a hope, kind of a week-long streaming schedule. Um, this will be Sundays probably, and then hopefully I'll be streaming uh, three other days of the week. So like Monday, Tuesday, Friday Maybe or something two. like that. Maybe two. <laughs> it depends uh, basically how busy the rest of life gets. But this is going to be part of also streaming video games mm -hmm. and she might be on those we might play some Maybe Salem, sometimes. and it might just be me i might bring in some other people i'm talking already to like fly daily about doing some streaming so there's gonna be more to come is that his last name no that's his whole name oh fly, <laughs> fly daily is his youtube channel i, I don't know his i've actual only name. ever heard him called fly i call him fly so i think his first name might be he's a cool unrelated guy. to that completely he's but. a fun guy they shot gun well we we might independently They've yeah. shot guns and they're talking We're going to hang out sometime and shoot his. He has a Mosin Nagant, which is a. I think it's a, it's a Russian World War II era bolt action rifle, which is cool. He has he has more than that, too. He's got like hunting weapons and stuff. We're going to hang out and shoot some guns since I live in North Carolina now. It's a southern thing. Y'all. <laughs> hey, I say that now. It, it works. So. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any more questions, we're we're here at your leisure. At your leisure, but while, we're just gonna hang out and wrap up the stream here, and probably cut it off sometime pretty quick, ten or fifteen minutes maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, Sunset Nation Eight. We live in Raleigh, uh, so like two hours from the coast, sort of on the east side of the state. It's a really wide state. It's, it's always shocking to us how long it takes to get from where we are to the to like Asheville, Mount Airy, that part of the state, and to go home is where we go. It takes we go to Asheville to go home. We go to almost to Asheville. We go toward Asheville. Yeah. It's on the western side of the state, right? Why, why, Yeti? School's okay. It's good that it's the summer. So that's why we're doing this. We're starting because we finally have some time. But school's going well. Bob has one year left. I have a million, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm a master now, so that's a thing. I uh, guess. Kai, Kaiju Gaming Combat King. You've said this a bunch of times now. I don't even know of ten Godzilla movies, so my, we might do movies, but I sincerely doubt we will do Godzilla movies exclusively. Not exactly our favorite kind of movies. Yeah, you've only seen like one. I don't. I didn't From know what I've heard, were a lot. the most recent one is pretty good, hmm. and probably the best. But I don't really know. Are you getting to do any more videos with Wade and Mark? 
uh, I can't read that name, Stroth, Strothgar. Uh, they were all out in L.A. I was visiting family, so I couldn't make this trip, but mm -hmm. they've been doing stuff together. I'm sure once everyone is home, I think Wade and Tyler go home to Ohio today. I'm sure we'll be doing some more recording. Uh, we don't have anything planned, though, so... But... I'm sure we'll but be probably. doing. Probably, I mean, and we haven't recorded friends, drunk Minecraft so. in a while, so I'm sure That's that Mark true. wants to get some of that out. Oh, did you guys like block and load? Or you... I, everyone seemed to like block and load. Um, unfortunately, Matan 138. That series with that specific group of people is over. Uh, I mean, the game still exists, so I might play more of it. But I've used up all the footage that I had from that session. It was really cool to play with Jesse Cox and uh, Cinnamon Toast Cannon. Slypox Town and those guys, so yeah. that was a cool thing just because it was so many YouTubers, but that's over. Oh, uh, Uber looks 99. Sorry, that was butchered, but the game was um, a horrible game. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> the Reds game we went to. We went we to the first about. of the, or we went to the second of the two it Reds games where they lost like 10 2. But, and it was raining, yeah. but. But it was super fun because we loved the Reds and we were with my family, which is super fun. Um, so it was a bad game, but still fun. Hmm. The one person says one problem with people voting is just depending on the topic. We, we can't like watch TV shows or stuff. And so you might have huge gaps in voting if people have seen one show but not the other. I don't know. We'll have to work I mean, out. I mean, so the voting would just be if if you liked his list or my list yeah. better. It wouldn't actually consequentially mean anything. It just would be a fun thing to see if like one of us owned this time or. Yeah, yeah. So the for the voting things, we will we will consider what you're voting on and make sure that it's it's not just like, which of our t-shirts that you can't see do you like better? That sort of thing. I mean, and really, it doesn't mean... I mean, you can vote for Bob all the time if you want to. You probably vote for me all the time. <laughs> I'm the one with the logo, so... It's true. I'm less <laughs> well, we'll self-promotional. Ha we'll have a list play logo yeah, soon. Yeah, that's so exciting. Logo. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, someone said, uh, is Mandy going to any PopCon? Yes, she is. And your brother might be as well. Yes. He's a professional composer. He All sorts of fun people are YouTube going channel. to Indie PopCon. Uh, Wade and Jack and... Mark, Mark and Gerard, the completionist. Yeah. And uh, a lot of voice actors I and saw I'm sure in the Molly too, list. Right? And yeah, Molly is coming to PopCon as well. So we'll all be there. It'll be like a big party. Uh, Master Shock 126, I do not have a YouTube channel. This is my extent of video production. She actually do does with things him. with her life. So she's only got um, a little bit of time. She's getting a I'm PhD, so she's busy. This summer, so. Um, I just fuck around all the time. It's my lot in life. Um, <laughs> Rockstar says, cracks the whip. Faster, Adam. You're running out of time. Uh, We're terrible. Uh, Wolf Gamer123456 asks, what type of dog Lexi is? Hey, Lexi, come here. Come say hi to Why? your fans. Come here. Hey, Why? come here. Come here. <laughs> she was sleeping. Come here. <laughs> Let me try not to hit your head on the table. Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah, you're asleep, huh? It's yeah. okay. Lexi is a uh, Chihuahua Terrier, terrier Mutt. She's a lot of Chihuahua, but she's got a little Terrier face and stuff going on. Yeah. And she's... We rescued her, so we don't really know She's a rescue, she yeah. So she's a Mutt of some kind, but she's adorable. If you guys want to see good pictures of her, you should check out Mandy's Twitter because Smoke she Bear wants to know if there's any kind of list we're looking to avoid. It's okay. It's okay. So we're looking to avoid, I guess, things that are super dirty or... Vile, We're but... probably not going to do top five sex toys from the 90s. <laughs> that... are... Okay, I don't even want to know. Uh, you know I... But I don't, we're not specifically trying to avoid anything. Are we? No, I mean, so any kind. So, like, we, we talked about doing food lists and music and games and technology and Anything history. that would be fun to talk about. Yeah. And we're, we're probably not going to do stuff we don't know anything about. Yeah, that's the big If you guys suggest that... something that we're really excited about. So, you might have it. lots of good ideas, but... Again, we can only do like one a week or whatever. Or, I mean, maybe if it g goes off, we could do two lists a week. Or yeah, something. I mean, it depends on how busy we get with school, and it depends on how popular it is. If, yeah. If everyone, you know, is is constantly showing up for episodes and stuff, it might turn into more than just a weekly thing. But we'll have to see. So sorry, we're not playing games tonight. People who are asking. 
top five TV shows would be so hard. I have, like, yeah. so many TV shows. Uh, we were thinking about doing, like, top whatever episodes ever in, like, a specific TV show or yeah, across fun. TV shows. One Bob's really excited about is TV Deaths. Yes. The top five. He's really excited about that. But my list is severely lacking. I was trying. Yeah, I mean, we got to work on that. Work out but, some ideas. So, but... so we have all sorts of ideas, but we would appreciate any of your input on our Twitter. Yep, yep. Uh, Mad Max 2639 wants to know how we met. So we met at a Halloween party my freshman year of college. And it was really funny because... Bob was a 1920s mobster, and I was a flapper, again, from the 1920s. So yeah, we were... We, like, matched, we matched before we even knew each other. Well, we actually didn't end up going out until, no. like, a couple of years after that, or, like, a... I think It was a years? while after that party. We sort of no. were just acquaintances. Because that party would have been your sophomore year? No, that party was my freshman year. So it, so it was about a year after that, I guess. Yeah, so we knew each other for quite a bit, quite a while at, through other friends before we dated. But we matched. Yeah. It was destined to be. <laughs> it's funny. You're so Bomb warm, just wanted Lexi. an excuse to wear his fedora. Yeah, I have a fedora. It's awesome. I had a whole getup. The the high heeled shoes and the lots of stairs was a bad idea. Where are you going? I just got an opportunity to wear it for the first time in like a decade. Oh no, look what I started. <laughs> it's really dusty. So, we we just got married last June. Our first anniversary is going to be June 28th when we're at PopCon. See, he loves to look pretty sexy in it, right? I have a big head, so it's kind of a big hat, but I could be like a mobster, right? If I had, if I had my suit on. <laughs> It's so dusty. It's, it's, I haven't had a chance to wear... When, when do you get a chance to wear a fedora? When you get one, you're like, yes, I'm going to wear this every opportunity. <laughs> there are no opportunities to wear fedoras. I'll tell you what. Other than Halloween. Yeah, well. You can only be a mobster so many years in a row. Thank you, Alyssa G818. We are Marshall and Lily. We try. <laughs> oh, that made my hair all weird. <laughs> Top five candles. I think that says candies. Oh, candies is better than candles. <laughs> top five, top five candles. We could pretend we're the target lady. Can I love candles? We, we should do that. Only we should get them and eat the candies. That mm. would be best. I'm gonna leave this on. Everyone likes it. Or at least I'm gonna imagine that everyone likes it. Thank you, Eric. But I did a boom. <laughs> All right. Well, should we wrap this up? I guess we're having lots of fun. Sorry, it was so short. I I don't know if you'll be there, but I'll be streaming more this week. So this was short, but there will be more to come. Definitely. And I'll try and drag her in on some, maybe. Try and we'll see. try and bring her in so we can play some some town of Salem or something. Or. Uh, so thank you guys for coming. We're really glad that you, you all liked it. Um. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, like we said at the beginning, this is just an idea that we're working on. Mm -hmm. So it might change dramatically or it might change very little the next time you see it. Uh, but we're just trying to test it out because we like doing this and we like talking to you guys and we're trying to figure out a way to do that every week, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Um, so it'll give us all a time to hang out and us to shoot the show and then it'll go on YouTube or whatever. Yep. Yeah. And it, I said this already, but if you came late and you missed my spiel, this is about to go up on YouTube. As soon as we cut, I'm going to have Twitch upload it to my YouTube channel. Um, I so, thought you were going to edit it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to edit this one because oh. it doesn't make very much sense why there's no okay. title screens. But, but I'm going to put it on YouTube in some form or another. So if you missed any or all of the actual list part, the show part, that's going to be viewable. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We're going to cut it now. Bye. <laughs>